Sayyidina Muhammad. This surah, Surah Al-Mu'minun, is a very important surah in the Qur'an. It was named Surah Al-Mu'minun, yes, because it starts with the first verse, Qad Aflah Al-Mu'minun, and it starts and at the end as well, it comes back to the description of the the qualities of the Al-Mu'minun. We know that the common translation for Al-Mu'minun, which is, which is not wrong, but it's not an exclusive meaning in Arabic, it's the believers. To say to believe in something, even if it is in a lie, to believe in Arabic is Saddaqa or Amana. But there is a, another meaning deeper than that, which is to receive. Al Mu'minun are those who are receptive to truth when it is well explained to them, when it is well presented to them. Those who are receptive to truth. Because to be a believer is not a quality in itself. And one of the things that we need to learn and teach our children is something called critical thinking. Critical thinking is something very important. Do not want to believe in anyone. Do not want to be believer in deceivers. We have many deceivers in this world and many deceiver uh, hypothesis, many deceiver uh, uh, thesis, many deceiver people. They come there and they tell you things. And if you don't have, if you are not well trained in critical thinking, wait a minute. Who's benefiting from this? What is this? What, do, what would this lead to? How could this build a good personality? How could this statement help a humanity to find peace, really? How could this war, for example, benefit the humanity? How could this end uh, uh, terrorism? How could this strategy really be beneficial? I mean, you see, questions like that. We need to learn critical thinking. Actually, in universities, they teach critical thinking. It is something very important. Not in all universities, but they, there is. Yeah? New universities, they, they teach ideologies, but also there is, there is something called the critical thinking. You find, you find a course called the critical thinking. We need to learn critical thinking. Learn it and teach it. You do not want to be just a, a believer who believes in anything that is thrown to him. But there is a difference between critical thinking and was was. There is a difference between critical thinking led by an illuminated and illuminated rational, well developed rational, sincere rational, sincere, sincere rational thinking that is seeking the truth. That is not just denying at any price or rejecting at any price. Because that's what the kafir is. The kafir is not the one who tried to, and after that he was not convinced. We don't call that kafir. The kafir is a pattern of someone who would be already from the beginning, from the beginning, he's ready to deny. Anything you are going to bring, he's, uh, he's ready. He has a Already reasoning, it's not a reasoning, he has an ideology, he has, he, has, he has a pattern of thought that is ready to reject, that he would throw it on you to reject the truth. And we see in Surah Al-Mu'minun that pattern of thought, we can call it waswas as well, that pattern of thought, which is not a, it's not a logic, it looks like, but it's not. <laughs> They are repeating it like parrots, a nation after another. The same, 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 same statements. For a reason, 
I mean, the divine intelligence, if a human intelligence of Arab people in Jahiliya does not lack creativity, let alone an inspired intelligence or the divine intelligence, they are not lacking words. So for a reason, that repetition is for a reason, and it's not just for the musicality. Yes, yeah, Surah Al-Mu'minun is very musical. Un, 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 in, in, in. It's beautiful. It's a musical. You like it. But no, it's not just for musicality. That repetition is not just for poetic necessity or for, for its musicality. The divine intelligence wants to teach us something like that battle is not creative. The kufr is not creative. Denying the truth at any price is not creative. It has been the same since the beginning. And today, the, today, today, 20 or whatever, 21st or 22nd, 21st century, it is people when they want to reject someone who is coming with a statement, with a message of truth, trying to help them, trying to lead them to, to something good, they will come up with the same pattern. Bashar al Muthmana? He's just a man like us. You read when I tafadhal alaykum. He's just doing this to, to, to look better than us and looking for privilege and looking to make himself show better. He's eating like us, drinking like us. Uh, how come uh, he's saying that there is, uh, there is life after death? How come? Etc. So, don't have much time, but. If we go, we can actually make an analysis of each quote-unquote argument. They are not arguments, they are wrong arguments. It's a false logic. It's not a rational thinking. It's not a critical thinking. Otherwise, why would the divine intelligence uh, uh, criticize it in that way? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not looking for us to be dumb believers who believe in any deceiver? Absolutely not. You need to have a critical thinking, you need, but that critical thinking is not a pattern, it's a path towards the truth. There is a difference between a pattern, the same thing repeating itself, like they are going in circles. They are not looking for truth, they are going in circles. They have, they have this four or five points repeating them, tack, tack, tack. But if you are really looking for truth, it's a path. And that critical thinking may lead you to, in the beginning, to wait. To not rush to believe, even if, it, even if something is haq, or rushing is not a quality. Even when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about as-sabiqoon, as-sabiqoon, as-sabiqoon are not those who rush to believe. No. Those who invested themselves in the truth after it was explained to them, after they were able to receive it. That's what as sabiq is. Rushing to believe in something is not really equality in itself. Critical thinking, rational, think about it. But after that, when argument, counter argument, argument, counter argument, when the truth is well explained to you, that's it. You are ready to submit yourself to it. You are ready to, ready to embrace it. You are ready to receive it. So Al-Mu'minun are those who are ready to receive the truth when it is well presented to them. And are the people who are in a demarche, uh, 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 in demarche, uh, you know, um, process, process um, a, journey. a journey of searching and looking for the truth. They are mu'minun, they are ala tariq iman, they are on a path of iman. Even when they are asking questions, 
they're not asking questions to you know to to make the person feel bad they are asking sincere questions real questions coming from their authentic self coming from their authentic need to find an answer they're not just coming with ready questions to just you know their decision is already made and they come with so-called the questions to throw them on you like stones like that and then leave no they are coming really with a shawq for shawq lil haqq with 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 the shawq for haqq with 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 the love and search authentic search for the truth that's what al mu'min is so he may take time but after that his iman is well anchored solid well rooted in his heart in his rational So we need to make this difference, really, between critical thinking, rational critical thinking, and uh, was was people who are caught up in their mind, turning in circles. They are not really, they are not using using their brain really to to search for the truth. They are just denying. Their arguments are, are wrong. Arguments are not really arguments because they will not convince it. They are they are ready. They are ready, uh, ready model of thinking, if you want. And subhanAllah, those who do not have the real critical thinking, they end up often falling into the pattern of what's West, into just denying for the sake of denying. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the true Iman, which is the quality of intelligent people. True receptivity to the truth when it is well explained and presented to us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us hearts and minds that are open to receive the light, to receive the truth when it is well presented to us. Ameen ya arham ar-Rahmin Rabbil Alameen. That's the definition of al-Mu'minun. Al-Mu'minun are those who are receptive, who are ready to receive, who are ready to accept, who are ready to embrace the beauty, the truth, when it is well presented to them, when it is well explained to them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us and you tawfiq. Ameen ya arham ar-Rahameen. Ameen ya arham ar-Rahameen. Rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli wa sallim. Wa barak ala Sayyidina wa Habibina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi tayyibina tahirin. Praise be to Thee, Most Supreme God, Omnipotent, Omnipresent, All-Pervading, the Only Being. Praise be to Thee, Most Supreme God, Omnipotent, Omnipresent, All-Pervading, the Only Being. Take us in Thy parental arms. Raise us from the denseness of the earth. Thy beauty do we worship. To Thee do we give willing surrender. Most merciful and compassionate God, the idealizing Lord of the whole of humanity, Thee only do we worship, and towards Thee alone we aspire. Open our hearts towards Thy beauty. Illuminate our souls with divine light. O Thou, the perfection of love, harmony and beauty, all-powerful creator, sustainer, judge and forgiver of our shortcomings, Lord God of the East and of the West, of the walls above and below and of the seen and unseen beings, pour upon us thy love and thy light. Give sustenance to our bodies, hearts and souls. Use us for the purpose that thy wisdom chooseth and guide us on the path of thine own goodness. Draw us closer to thee every moment of our life until in us be reflected thy grace, thy glory, thy wisdom, thy joy, and thy peace. Ameen, ya arham ar-Rahameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barak ala Sayyidina wa Habibina Muhammad wa ala alihi subhana rabbika rabbil azzati amni sifun wa salamun al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Alhamdulillahi.